back to recording, and there goes the Zoom. Go ahead. On September 28th in 1928, Alexander Fleming left out a Petri dish, and the next morning found that a blue mold had grown on top of it, and he dubbed it penicillin. However, he did not believe that penicillin could be used to, could exist long enough in the body to kill anything, so he stopped studying it. But in 1943, in 1943, there were many trials for penicillin, and they soon confirmed its effectiveness on syphilis. It became historically significant in being the first antibiotic for many serious diseases like syphilis, as well as, well as many infections caused by staphylococci and streptococci. Penicillin is a beta-lactam antibiotic that works by interrupting the constantly changing wall of bacteria and killing it. However, even though it was a wonder drug when it came out, many bacteria have created a resistance to penicillin by making enzymes called beta... Uh, I think right there is when you should go to the oh, balloon. Yeah, one, eventually killing them is when I should have gone to the balloon. And then explain how it kills them. Yeah. So now I'm going... Eventually I'm, killing them. And it does it by... It does it by, just like every... any. I'll have a table. That'll make things easier. Mm. Just like any cell, bacteria goes through mitosis by splitting, expanding, splitting, and becoming two different cells. Now, what penicillin does is it attacks the bacteria, causing it to constantly expand, but it doesn't get split. However, some bacteria... I would go a little bit slower with that. Okay. And uh, fully ex explain it before it pops. I'm never going to know when it pops, though. Well, I mean, it causes the the cell to constantly expand until it cannot contain itself, and it essentially explodes. And then I would pump it all the way up, such it's as... It's going to be more than five minutes anyway. Just... All right. Just uh, yeah. suggest. All right, back down. Uh, however, some bacteria have created a resistance to penicillin by making its enzymes um, called the beta-lactamase, which in turn then destroy penicillin structure. Poor so penicillin, sorry. So sometimes you also need to take a beta-lactamase inhibitor with your antibiotic to make it successful. However, there are some penicillin derivatives that have a beta-lactamase inhibitor in them, such as Augmentin. MRSA... I would also explain why you have the two different things. Explain that the green thing can, on it I is... I can put this up more up here, just have it be like with the, back, with the bacterial water. I would have just explained it's something that they produce that... It's something that coats the bacteria. Yeah, I want to be, you know, as you can see, this... So, okay. However, you know, like I gotta go through this and make sure I know it. And, I know. Um... However, where am I? Let's see. Some bacteria have created resistance to penicillin by making, an en making enzymes called beta-lactamase. As you can see, this bacteria is free and able to be penetrated by, by penicillin, whereas this one is covered by a cloak. Of beta-lactamase. Of beta-lactamase. Which circle of kills. Which, in turn, destroys the structure of penicillin. Mm hmm which is why you have to take the, yeah. MRSA is also an example of a bacterium that is immune to beta, beta lactam antibiotics. But however, it is so strong that nothing works on it, which is why we have to invent new drugs to work on it. And that's not 100% accurate. This is failing miserably. Penicillin is not without its side effects. While they are rare, it can cause diarrhea or stomach aches. One of the, um, it's very important to not take penicillin if you're allergic to it. Even though less than 20% of people who claim to be allergic to penicillin actually are, it is nonetheless still something to be careful of. The majority of allergies turn out to just be rashes and hives. But it can also cause anaphylactic shock leading to death. So make sure you talk to your doctor about the possibilities of being allergic to penicillin. I would probably say if you're going to, to announce this one and this one, cover all of these and then state about 20% are only of people that actually say they're allergic are allergic. No, because this is this is side effects. This is allergies. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. 
You should also be careful taking penicillin if you have asthma, bleeding or clotting disorders, or severe liver problems. Like many antibiotics, penicillin can cause the effectiveness of oral contraceptives to significantly reduce increasing pregnancy. <sighs> penicillin comes mostly in oral forms, but there are a few such as tamocillin that comes in the form of an injection. It is important to take the whole dose of penicillin completely to take care to completely take care of the bacteria. And it's important to take the whole dose of penicillin to completely take care of the bacteria and keep it from coming back stronger. Pay attention to any side effects that may happen and be sure to contact your doctor with any questions or concerns. I'll, I can be like. I'm going to show your mother. Yeah. He's saying hi. And we have our petri dish with penicillin in it. And he says, I was born to kill you. And as they are attacking our dear Staphylococcus and Streptococcus, they are saying all sorts of nasty things. Here the, is our ever-changing bacterial wall that is being penetrated by our penicillin and our amoeba bacterias that destroy our... I have a high stuck to me. Uh, destroying our penicillin. He's crying out in pain. <laughs> and they're running away from MRSA because it's not working, so... They need to run away from big bad superbug. And our poor skin cell is itchy because of its hives. Stephanie's all dead. Yeah, Stephanie's dead. Uh, and then it can cause asthma. Or no, no, don't take it if you have asthma or liver problems. And or clotting disorders. And then the oral and oh, injectable. Yes, I, I did it this way though because I didn't want to have them lined up. See that one? Now it's a diagonal between him saying, look, it's me. And, and I can make you pregnant. Anything else? Hi. Hi.